Welcome to a very chaotic hallway organization video. Yes, you heard that correctly. I am organizing my hallway outside of my room. This is how I stack my books. This is where I put my books when I run out of room in my room itself. Here are all the books I've either read or I wanted to keep close to me so that I can use to take pictures. My family has graciously ignored me and ignored the fact that I have made the house a living mess. This is an exact view of what I see every morning when I wake up. And as you can tell, it's very chaotic. So I decided to finally take some time out of my day to organize all the books in the hallway. I bought two bookshelves off Facebook Marketplace, my favorite store, from this small family who was so kind enough to actually deliver the fully assembled bookshelves to my house for an extra $10. So all in all, it was only $80 for two fully assembled bookshelves. Now keep in mind, they're not the cleanest bookshelves or they're not the most well-built bookshelves, but I was really happy with them regardless because I really just needed the extra shelving space. As you can also tell from this clip, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous items that should never be near my books and I have to clear them out. I ended up just stacking up all the books that I have into piles of whether I should bring it downstairs to the basement or I should keep it near me because I want to read them soon enough. I found little trinkets inside my books, like little bookmarks, and I ended up also seeing a bunch of books that I know that I won't personally read anytime soon that I'll put in my basement or even look towards reselling them on Facebook Marketplace. I even found a bunch of picture books that publishers have sent me that I really loved and really enjoyed, but they don't need to be near my room anymore because I'm not going to read them anytime soon. I even found some books from my favorite series, which is Confessions of a Shopaholic from Sophie Kinsella. And of course, I also have some YA novels too from Abby Glines, which I actually really enjoy, even though they're not the most well-written books. They're so dramatic and I can't help but enjoy the dramatic young adult lives that I never really got a chance to live. And I also found a bunch of boxes of books that I bought off eBay. They're boxes of collections from Lindsay Sand, Virginia Henley, just a bunch of historic romance book lots that I bought that I forgot I bought. Look at all these pretty step backs. They're just so gorgeous. Can you blame me for spending money on these beautiful books that I haven't read yet and that I probably won't read anytime soon? I try to make it a goal for myself to read as many historic romances as possible this year. But honestly, with the burnout that I'm currently experiencing, it's getting really harder and harder for me to focus on longer books. I've since stopped really relying on audiobooks for a long time now. I listen to them here and there, but I'm definitely not the same audiobook listener as I was before in the previous year, in the previous months. I have only can concentrate on maybe one audiobook a day instead of three audiobooks a day, so that has definitely weighed in on my reading. Um, I've definitely read in a lot slower compared to last year and the previous year and I'm trying to make peace with it and I'm trying to not pressure myself to read as fast as before because times are changing, things get rough, and I shouldn't be this hard on myself for a simple hobby. As you can see, I just have so many books. They're so pretty with these amazing step covers. They're so gorgeous. We're gonna see in the next couple of clips where my dad actually stored a bunch of my books for me because I left them around my house and he was fed up with it. So he ended up storing it away for me in a box and it ended up actually destroying a lot of the covers. I'm not too upset about it because I started to realize that books are inanimate objects and you know, they don't have thoughts, they don't have feelings, so it's okay. And yes, I bought a whole lot of Julie Garwood books that I purchased solely because my friends love Julie Garwood, specifically Lacey and Jessica. And yeah, and now I have a bunch of books that I've read before that I don't know if I want to keep near me because they're not like my favorites, but they are gorgeous.
And I think at this point was when I realized that I was having a mental breakdown because I just had so many books that I was organizing. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know how to bring it downstairs. And it was a mental breakdown. And by the way, did I mention how the, this bookshelf organization, hallway organization, whatever we're calling it, took at least six hours? It took six hours. I thought it would take like a minimum of two hours. It took six. And I almost had a, a huge mental breakdown. I was climbing up and down the stairs, sweating like a horse. And I couldn't, I just couldn't do it anymore. But I needed it to be done. So as you can see, I figured out that putting the books in grocery bags was a lot easier than putting it in a giant box and then carrying it downstairs because it has handles. Anyways, here are all my mass paperback historical romance books that I like to store outside of my hallway. I used to keep all the books that I've read here um, because it gave me a sense of accomplishment that I read so many historical romances, but I started realizing that a lot of my favorites I wasn't seeing it anymore because it was being buried behind more and more books. So I decided to actually just move all the books I've read, move it downstairs so that I can enjoy it on the shelves. And just then you also saw all the books that I thought were really pretty showcasing it to you. And one of the covers was How Not to Die Alone. And I love that title. That's my favorite title of a book because that's just so hilarious. Um, as you can see, this is a chaotic mess and I hate it. And these are my bookshelves, which I started to fill up. I have a very unfinished basement, as you can tell. It's not aesthetic. I never promised you guys an aesthetic bookshelf tour or a bookshelf organization. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome. You are not going to find quirky, cute, aesthetically pleasing, pretty content here when it comes to bookshelf organization. You're going to get raw, real ugly messy stuff you see on hoarders and then I had to take a break because I was starving I was gonna pass out in the basement so I decided to treat myself and ordered myself some poke bowls this is tuna salmon delicious and I'm back in hell where I have so many books that I still have yet to organize and just bags and bags of books that I have to bring downstairs and you can see here that the shelves are slowly starting to fill up. I put my Tessa Dares on top because I haven't seen them in a long time. And I put my favorite authors like near the top shelf, near eye level. So whenever I go downstairs, I can see it. Also, now that I put the books in the basement, I have this weird fear that a pipe will burst and then all my books will be ruined. So you best bet I will be putting a cover on top of these books so that there will be no water, no mold, no dust on my books because I will literally cry so hard if any of these books are ruined because of a stupid pipe explosion. Now, given keep in mind that it has never happened to me before, but now it's an irrational fear. As you can tell, shelves are filling up. There are a lot of piles of books in front of these bookshelves, and I'm trying not to show you guys because it's super messy, but also, these are all the boxes of books that I have from publishers. I have publicity boxes that they give me, and there's a lot of stuff in it that I have to clear out. Here's another box of eBay books that I bought that I completely forgot I bought. I bought it for some reason. I think it was because they had old vintage covers and I was going to bring them downstairs to the basement. But then I remembered that I have an Instagram page now where I showcase a lot of my historical romances that have pretty covers. So I decided to actually just keep it in my hallway just in case I needed more books for more content. If you guys haven't followed me yet on Instagram, links are in bio. I'll even add in my historical romance Instagram page there too as well. And then I also have Goodreads. And then here are all the books. Honestly, will I ever read them? I don't know. There's also one with a guy with a mustache and I thought that was really cool. Um, here are my damaged books. Thank you, Father, for bending all my books. And then I have this box full of goodies that I don't know what to do with it. There's just so many good things here. There's plants, notebooks, pens, lip balms. And here are the final results. Uh, yeah, books are still in my hallway. I can't help it. There are a lot of books that I have yet to haul to show you guys. 
here are my historical romances that I haven't read yet. Some of them in the front are actually my favorites that are my go-to recommendations, so I decided to keep them there. Romantic contemporary novels. If you see that keyboard and that laptop, it is my work laptop. I like to put outside my room so I forget about work. Here are all the boxes that I had to flatten to throw away. And this is how the final result of the basement looks like. Lots and lots of boxes, but books are organized on the shelves. I'm so happy with them. I think this was like my best purchase this year so far. Bookshelves. Also, if you guys don't follow me on BookTok, you guys should do that too as well because people now recognize my videos based on my hallway and my bookshelves in my room and how chaotic everything is tends to be. I also tried to organize my adult fiction books in a rainbow color for God knows what reason. My camera's not really focusing um, because it's very dim lighting and this is a very just bad organization video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.